Good morning, class. I am Teacher Dagny, and today we will be discussing the different sources of information. And these are the sources of information. We have print materials, broadcast materials, and online materials. Let us first define print materials. Print materials consist of all written or printed materials. Examples of these resources are printed versions of textbooks, workbooks, reference books, magazines, newspaper, and journals. While broadcast materials, these are resources transmitted to public through radio and television. Examples are announcements, daily news, weather forecasts, interviews, documentaries, comedies, movies, sports, and commercials. While for online materials, these are learning resources that are made available online. Examples are vlogs, podcasts, audiobooks, ebooks, videos, mobile apps, web pages, social media, and emails or electronic mails. And these are the examples of print materials. Book, newspaper, magazine, dictionaries, flyers, and journals. For broadcast materials, we have news report, weather forecast, interviews, documentaries, movies, and sports. For online materials, we have vlogs, audiobooks, mobile app, podcast, social media, website, ebooks, and emails. Remember that in accessing online materials, be careful and vigilant with the authorship, credibility, and authenticity of internet documents since some may contain unverified information. So now, we will be having an activity. Let us identify which source of information does not belong to the group. Ready? Okay, let's proceed to number one. We have textbooks, workbooks, reference books, and daily TV news. Can you identify which source of information does not belong to the group? Excellent! The correct answer is daily TV news because daily TV news is an example of broadcast material while the others are examples of print materials. Let us move on to number 2. We have TV documentaries ebook, radio comedies, and TV commercials. Can you identify which source of information does not belong to the group? Correct! Ebook is the correct answer because ebook is an example of online material while the others are examples of broadcast materials. Let us now have number 3. We have blogs or blogs written diary, videos, and web pages. What is your answer? Correct! Written diary is the correct answer because written diary is an example of print material while blogs or vlogs, videos, and web pages are examples of online materials. Number 4. We have printed magazines, newspaper, social media, and printed journals. What is your answer? Very good! Social media is the correct answer since social media is an example of online material while the others are examples of print materials. You're doing great! Let us move on to the last number. We have email, book, ebook, and mobile app. Your answer is book. That's correct because book 
is an example of print material, while email, ebook, and mobile app are examples of online materials. Good job, class! You're doing great! To wrap up our discussion, let us have a quick recap. Information can be acquired using any of these sources print materials, broadcast materials, and online materials. Print materials are any written and printed materials, whereas broadcast materials are the one that we hear on radio or see on televisions. On the other hand, online materials are information that made available using the internet. You can now compare and contrast the different sources of information. Take note that the skills and comparing and contrasting are necessary in enriching your knowledge in finding reliable and credible sources of information. Good job, class! Now, it's time for an activity. Using your answer sheet, answer the following. Classify the materials below as to print materials, broadcast materials, or online materials. Write your answer on the space provided. Magazines, TikTok, Dictionary, Websites, TV Documentaries. You can ask your parents, guardians, or siblings to guide you in answering the activity. Remember, as a guide and not the one who will answer the activity. That is all for today, class. I hope that you have learned something for today's discussion. Once again, I'm Teacher Dendi. Have a great day ahead and God bless.